Yo, 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 Mecha Diva here. What is up? Uh, I found a little bit of a camp to drop the material on, so I wanted to go ahead and do that. Uh, this was a little bit of fun, but I wanted to go over some of the mistakes I had made, um, go over a little bit of what exactly was happening. Uh, I found this camp, it was just a couple of dudes, a couple other people were there too, but it looks like at this point some of them left. Um, we still were able to take out three ships though. One of them was only due to a covert ops frigate that I had hiding behind him. But anyways, we're warping the Macarial to the gate right now. This thing is amazing by the way, I love this ship. This has been a lot of fun. I should have waited for the other guys to come back, it would have been a little bit more fun. But just taking out these guys was still a good time though. So we're jumping through. Uh, my other two alts are already jumped through at this point. I jumped the Rupture 2 Guardian and the Corsair Interdictor through already. Um, they do not know that much about the Macarial, so they're probably just panicking right now. As you can see, I'm engaging with the Rupture 2 Guardian and the Corsair Interdictor first to draw their attention, and then I'm coming in with the Macarial. Uh, for whatever reason, I hit the tracking... Uh, computer so early like that was such a waste of a tracking computer uh, but it is what it is I think I was just juggling four different accounts and got a little bit excited I just hit the tracking computer it happens uh, anyways we're gonna start taking out this arbitrator interdictor first um, I'm attacking it with the Corsair interdictor and the rupture 2 guardian as well I wanted to get a jump on this guy. Just now the Ferrix is jumping through to join. The Ferrix was probably debating on whether he wanted to join this entire time. Uh, he's jumped through, so I'm going to start locking him up pretty soon. But yeah, this Macarial just shreds. Uh, this is with 1700 cold DPS right now. So that's not even good DPS. I built it tanky for whatever reason. I was expecting to fight a little bit bigger of a group. It sucks though, because I shouldn't have approached, I shouldn't have orbited the Ferrix like this. Because as you can see, I'm just heading right into the gate. I ended up getting stuck on this gate, and that was really annoying. Like, I should have just stopped acceleration, turned around, and cut him off the other way. So you can see he's going around the other side of the gate anyways. But I was trying to control my other characters as well, and I just like, kind of let the Macario get stuck in the gate for a minute. So at 80 kilometers away, there's a Talos. And of course, we're thinking, well, how is the Talos going to get caught? You know, there's no way that Talos is just going to stay. He's going to warp off. But, little did he know, I've had eyes here this whole time. And the eyes are right behind the Talos. So I had just uncloaked. Uh, this should have been a purifier. I used a Magnate Covert Ops. This would have went a lot more smoothly if this was a purifier. But as you can see, as soon as we took out the other two ships and we started approaching the Talos... We uncloaked the Magnate Covert Ops, tackled the Talos, and now we're slowly making our way to the uh, Talos with the Macarial and the Rupture Guardian. So, uh, it looks like, yeah, at this point, Single Mom 24 Kids, my Corsair Interdictor, got popped by the Talos as well. Um, that was the only thing they could take out. And when you're using a Destroyer Interdictor, you can kind of just expect this to happen. They're going to target them, and they're going to kill it. Um, there's Unless you just like distract them and MWD off or cloak up or something, uh, the destroyer is most likely going to die. But uh, that guy right now is not T8, so I can't switch him to a cruiser interdictor. So for now, uh, that person is going to get destroyed a couple times. But it's it's for the content. As you can see, we got this Talos tackled now. We're slowly making our way with the Macarial. He's probably just freaking out at this point. I was trying to get in range with the Warp Disruptor, but I think we ended up killing him before I could even disrupt him. The large auto cannons on the Macarial are just absolutely insane. Boom, there he goes. So at this point, we've destroyed all the targets, we got some other scouts on grid. Uh, the reason we have the cloaking device is because we want to cloak up afterwards. Um, this is like flying a super carrier in EVE Online at this point. We want to just drop the big boy, get a couple kills, and then GTFO. We don't want to cause a bunch of attention. Um, as you're about to see here in a second, shortly after I left, hold on one second, shortly after I left, 
shortly after I left, we had this. We had a 15-man fleet ready to take out the Macario 25 minutes later. So their, their response time was a little low, being at 25 minutes. But uh, it is what it is, you know. They, they did their best. They really wanted to get that Macario. But as you can see, we cloaked up and then we got out. I'm not even cloaked up still there anymore. I got out before the fleet even came. But 25-minute response. You guys let me know if that's good or bad. I don't know how far away. I think these guys are only like five jumps away. But you guys let me know how good or bad 25-minute response time is for a battleship landing on your geek camp. So until then, I will talk to you guys later.